everyone happy wednesday how's everybody doing today this is tina with rhapsody and ribbons i hope you're all doing well staying safe staying in um <clears throat> i had to go out this morning to kroger's but it was supposed to be seniors from seven to eight but let me tell you when i went in there it wasn't just seniors i was really upset about that you know, I don't want to be around the young people who are healthy and could be a carrier of this. But um, I just picked up what I needed and I got out. So <clears throat> that was that. And of course, there's no toilet paper, no paper towels, no alcohol, no hand sanitizer, <laughs> the usual stuff that's been going on. But I thought we would do something today a little bit cheerful. So let's get our minds off of this COVID-19 for a little bit. I know I need to. I've been promising you guys um, to show you how to make a flower on the Unique in the Creek wreath board. So that's what we're going to do today. So, <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to, this is the small one, okay? And I did this type of petal for this one but that's not the type of petal we're going to do today but I just wanted to show you <clears throat> okay so these boards have rows row one row two row three and row four okay this one's more to make a, a rose on it and I think I showed you guys the rose I made this was made on the small um unique in the creek board okay but just for time purposes. So you need your, um, help me, <laughs> cable ties, okay? So what you want to do is um, you want to try to fill your board in first because that saves time. So then you're just going to put that on just a little bit, okay? And not seal it the whole, you know, shove it the whole way as then you will add your petals into it. And then you're just gonna keep going around the board. Okay. This isn't hard. It's no different than putting your Chanel stems in. And if you want, you can use Chanel stems on these. So just to give you a quick idea. <clears throat> so I already filled my board up, okay? So as you can see, each one of these has in a zip tie, okay? Now, the outside ones, I didn't put anything because I don't know if I'm going to put leaves on this flower or not. So, first of all, if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Tina with Rhapsody and Ribbons. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and stick around. I would love to have you as part of my family. Um, to all my current subscribers out there, hello, I love you all, I miss you, I'm really praying, I hope you're all safe, and nobody, ha nobody has your, has this virus, I'm really praying, this is, this is really scary, it's very scary, you can't help wondering when you go out, like, I wear a mask, I wear gloves, I came home and took a shower, I washed my clothes, I washed my sweater, I washed my coat, I washed everything. So I don't know if that helps or not. But okay, so let's get into this. And I told you we're going to do a different type of petal than the one I did on there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to, let me move you over some. Okay, so you're just going to lay your mesh and these are cut in 10 by 10 squares. All you're going to do is scrunch it from one corner to another corner, okay? And then I'm going to flip this around like this, okay? Lay my petal out, and then I'm just going to stick this under here, under one of my zip ties, okay? And then pull that zip tie tight. Okay, ouch, that just hurt my wrist. Okay, now this is fabric mesh that I'm using, and no, I didn't use the heat sealer on fabric mesh because 
it's not going to do anything the fabric mesh you'll get a little bit of fray but not very much so again just corner to corner flip your petal over okay try to get them nice and even okay just want to get these so they're pretty even with each other and then you're going to go to your next zip tie now these zip ties i have on i think they're four and a half inch and i wish they were a little bit bigger because it's hard to get to, for me to um, get these. Okay, so let's just fluff these out. Okay, and we just cut off this couple straggler, stragglers. Drives me nuts. The heat sealer is more for your. Um, regular deco mesh it's mostly it's all plastic and that's why <coughs> that will seal okay so then i'm just gonna turn it around flip it over okay make my petal try to get them even as you can I, I pulled some of these too tight guys so you don't have to do that <laughs> if you don't want to battle like I am right now with it okay these boards are really fun and you order these from unique in the creek I think her name is Lori and if you go to Unique in the Creek's website, you can order them right on there. Now, all the other craft stores like uh, Craft Outlet, and um, they sell them too, but they've been out of them for months. So, and then just lay, and I'll go back later and instead of driving you guys crazy with me doing this. And this is probably going to be a two-part video. Um, for the center of this flower, I don't know if I'm going to make a rose petal um, for the center or what kind of center I'm using. So I'll go around the first one. I think there's 17 here in, in the... Um, in your first one or 17 uh, zip ties okay so just straight out scrunch corner to corner flip it make sure your petals are even and there you go I mean, you can go around and cut these zip ties off later, too. You don't have to do them, like, right this second. And once you do that, this goes really fast. So, if you get yourself a board, um, I'm just flipping it over, making sure they're even. Just putting it under that zip tie and pulling it tight. And just, you know, fluff out your petals. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's like lilac. That's what I would call it. I know some of you probably say lilac, right? <laughs> Not me, I say lilac. Just flip it over. Try to smash it down. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll get a book and um, put a book 
down to keep the flowers flat overnight. But this is my first um, flower that I'm making, so it'll be easy on you guys. Now see, when I go to the next one, there's only eight. So when you move up to the next row, there's only eight. So it's like half of what your first row is. That's why I'm saying once you get your first row in, it's gonna go really quick, okay? Easy guys, just corner to corner, bring your mesh, twist it around, it'll just lay out your flower, your leaf, petal, okay, and like I said, there is a little bit of fraying with fabric mesh, but nothing like uh, deco mesh, so we're supposed to have a nice uh, couple 60 degree days coming. So I'm gonna have to get that impulse sailor outside and start cutting some mesh up. And this idea, I got this off of um, Monkey's Creations. She is so darn good with making these flowers. Um, that girl is so talented, bless her heart. She is really talented. Okay, can you guys still see me? Is my flower board getting in the way? So I think we have one, two, three, four more. three more of these guys. Hope you guys can see this, but corner to corner. Just flip it over. is just the 10 inch fabric deco um, fabric mesh that I got from craft outlet I think it's called lilac it might not be but you'll see it it's just a light purple okay so last one for the outside row And pull that tight. And there, look, we already have the first row done. And that was like 12 minutes. So this is the outside. Okay. Now, the inside there's eight. So I bought this <coughs> basket weave mesh. 
I think it's really going to pop it. So I'm going to do that in the second row. Same thing. Corner to corner. Oh, that's going to be over here. Corner to corner. One thing I like about the fabric meshes, it's so nice and soft on your hands. And I'm sure I'm going to have some fraying on this basket mesh. So this one's going to be tight because I pulled these zip ties. It's thicker and I pulled these zip ties too tight. Let me find a looser one if I can. Or I might have to go cut these all off and get tighter ones. Or, I mean, put bigger zip ties in, I'm sorry. Okay. So, we just wanna... Oh, is that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay. Yeah, this is thicker than the fabric mesh, guys. So corner to corner, same way. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that, guys. I'm going to have to cut these off. They're, I just made them too tight. That's okay. So now you can see me. Uh, I'm going to use bigger ones. Learn by your mistakes. Okay. So, flat side up. You just, so you hear a click. <laughs> Purple is my favorite color, guys. My bedroom's purple and gray. Like lilac. Okay. And I actually like working with um, zip ties better than Chanel stones. I really do. Oh, my hot. I might have to open the window. Today's my last day of antibiotics. I caught a sinus infection. But I'm still real stuffy, but other than that, I feel okay. Right, so... I have a sinus infection. So then the news comes on, this 38-year-old um, kid, bless his heart, says, doctor thought I had a sinus infection and I had coronavirus. I'm like, oh my God. But I kept taking my temperature and um, everything, keeping an eye on that. I think that's what it is, but I do get them every year. A couple times a year, actually. Okay, corner to corner, flatten that baby out. Look at this, guys. See how much easier it is when you leave yourself room in the zip tie? Corner to corner. You can flip it over. And either way, whatever's easier for you. And I'm 
even about right here to your line and your first finger. Now, if some of the meshes now, guys, if you, you have to watch. So, if you use like um, regular deco mesh on these, like yellow, um, red, um, unless you get the real dark colors, you actually have to make two petals to put in each one of these. So, just so you know. Because it won't cover the board. And um, the girl that did it um, for Monkey's Creation, she even painted the board red. And you could still see through um, the board. So she just had to double up on her petals. Okay. So there's just a couple more of these to go. Oh, I'll leave your sight, ain't I? Flip this over. Put this in here. Okay, so. Oh, two more. Need to cut two more pieces of this. Oh no, there's one. Yep, leave yourself lots of room with those zip ties. <laughs> so you don't have to cut them off like I did. Okay. Um, this is the one I used before. you have with the first two colors so now what I'm I will do is um, go back and put the fabric mesh on row number four okay so I started on row two row three row four row number one is if you want to add leaf petals to it so I'm so there's one two three four five six seven I'll just do a couple more because we're going to do a part two to this so I don't go too long on the video. It's been 23 minutes. I love this fabric mesh. It just feels so good on your hands. Now, if you guys, and I love poly burlap too, but <clears throat> poly burlap frays so bad. And yeah, you can use the heat sealer on the poly bur burlap. So I do have some poly burlap. And so let's just go into the next row and I'm gonna struggle with these two, but this mesh isn't quite as thick, so I can finagle it in there. You want them to be tight. Okay. Just do two more. And we're going to call this one part one. And then I'll come back with part two. love this. I just love this. It's 
sorry about the film out of your shot, but I think you know how to make that pedal. I'll be driving you guys crazy with that, huh? Okay. So now, okay, so <clears throat> I don't know on the next um, row if I'll put any more of the basket weave in or just keep it purple. Um, I might make my own... Um, uh, flower center and probably just paint it or you can go around and you can put um, little pom-poms on there to make your flower center I'll have to see how creative I feel but this is it guys so it will be beautiful when it is done so the other thing is I need you guys' opinion on something. Let me step away for a minute. Okay. I'm still working on Angel. She's almost done. I'm going to add a little bow. But I'm not liking her face, guys. Okay, so, yeah, she has a little beads. Do I need to add another row of beads? Um, would you put something else on instead of the eyelashes? Um, help me. <laughs> I just can't think. Um, so I really enjoyed making that angel. I just love her. So anyways, guys, I hope, hope you enjoyed this um, flower tutorial. I will show you. Um, oh, good gravy good old mom cedar chest I love that thing um I like these petals too so next time I will um show you how to do these petals but this is it so far and she's really pretty so I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and watching my video um you guys stay in, stay safe. Um, <clears throat> help an elderly, you know. Ask them to put something red in the window if they need something. And if you're going to the store, I mean, face it, we all have to go to the grocery store. <clears throat> I mean, there's just no way about it. I should be good for quite some time. Um, so, <clears throat> don't need meat, don't need... You know, I mean, I might run out of bread or milk or whatever, but I can make my own bread. So I'm not worried about that. So anyways, guys, again, thank you so much. <clears throat> Stay safe. May God bless each and every one of you. I hope you're with people that you love and people that love you back. Right now, we can't visit our family and our kids and our loved ones in nursing homes and so sad the ones that do have coronavirus are in the hospital with no visitors the ones that pass away have to die alone and that's heartbreaking um that is so heartbreaking so guys until the next diy part two on this flower as i always say ciao